Hi guys, and welcome back to another Coyote Free video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you the DG Lab Hunter restraints. To find out everything you need to know, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz, as always, and as I said at the start of the video, I will be showing you the DG Lab Hunter restraints today. This isn't a very long video, it's only a short one, as there's not much to tell you. But as always, I will be giving you an unboxing video and showing you how to use them. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you a bit more information that DG Labs don't tell you. So enough waffling from me, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's open up the DG Lab Hunter Restraints and show you what you get inside. All DG Lab attachments and accessories come in these cases. Once inside the box, you will see you get four restraints. You also get two connecting clips. As far as restraints go, these are really good quality. They are nice and thick and they have a good bit of weight behind each one. Now there is a technique to connecting your restraints. As you can see, there are two loops on each clasp, which you can use to connect both restraints. Both both connectors do fit through both of the loops and they act as a temporary lock for the restraints. Once you have got the restraints around the person's wrist and you find the right size, spin one of the loops around and it will lock it into place. You can then use the connecting hooks to lock the restraints. Or if you've got a small padlock, you can use that. Repeat the same again on the other restraint and you connected them both together. Both of the connecting hooks fit both of the restraint sizes. So you don't have to worry about which restraint connects with the other. If you have the DG Lab paw prints, you can also use those to connect your restraints. This will allow you to play some of the inbuilt games that are on the app. The clips for the paw prints also fit through the loops of the restraints, so they can be used as a temporary lock as well. If you haven't seen the DG Lab paw prints before, there is a video in the top right hand side of the screen. This video tells you everything you need to know about the DG Lab paw prints and how to use them. If you do want to get your hands on a set of DG Lab Hunter restraints or the paw prints, there is a link in the description below. If you have found this video useful so far, please do hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. So there you have it, that's what you get when you buy the DG Lab Hunter Restraints. To give you a bit more information about the restraints, you get four in total, like I said in the video. Two of the restraints are 13 inches long. That's 33 millimeters. And that's not the overall length of the restraint, that's just to the first notch. You can identify these longer restraints as they have four of these loops on top. If you tighten the straps as much as you can, it measures nine and three quarter inches, which is 22 and a half millimeters. The smaller restraints measure nine and a half inches to their first notch, which is 24 millimeters. And when they're done up as much as possible, they measure six and a quarter inches, which is 16 millimeters. And you can identify these smaller restraints as they have three of these loops here. Each notch on each restraint is 15 millimeters apart. And finally, the length of the two connecting clips are six inches. If I have inspired you to buy yourself a set of DG Lab Hunter restraints, there is a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, it doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of DG Lab profits if you choose to buy something. If you have found this video useful so far, please do hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. That's it for this one, guys. Until next time, peace out.